2008, Baltimore low-wage workers marched from Camden Yards to the Inner Harbor and declared it a human rights zone. Today, we take the first steps in delivering on that promise. With the city facing the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, it is now more important than ever for low-wage workers to stand up for our rights and demand dignity and respect. This crisis threatens the poor more than anyone else. We've been meeting with workers at the Inner Harbor to uncover the kinds of conditions workers faced. We surveyed 147 workers and found out how bad things really were. Talking with workers, some patterns emerged. The worst employers became evident based on the level of disrespect, the poverty of wages being paid, and the lack of dignity at the worst three employers. And the worst three employers are Cheesecake Factory. We're putting Cheesecake Factory on notice. We are putting Phillips on notice for not paying workers for all hours paid, yelling at workers, disrespecting workers, and fine workers for things like going to a funeral. Requiring workers to buy a water cup from the company store in order to get a drink while you're working. MS Grill is on notice for paying workers poverty wages, out of reach health care, no paid sick days, and sexual harassment. Now I will have an Inner Harbor worker who has been working down the Inner Harbor for many years, and he will come and share a personal story of how he would like things to improve down the Inner Harbor. Para los derechos que estamos eh, pidiendo a los trabajadores se resumen a cuatro puntos básicos, como es el primero, un trato con dignidad y respeto. Today we put MS Grill, Cheesecake Factory, and Phillips on notice. Our notice is respect our demands because we will prevail. Human rights will be extended and expanded to Inner Harbor workers. We will prevail, no matter how long or difficult the struggle. These three employers are on notice and will soon hear, hear our voices, the voice of Baltimore, demanding better wages for all workers in the city. As a city, we can do better than this. And as a city, we will do better than this. We made a promise to the city on October 25th, 2008, by declaring the Inner Harbor a human rights zone. Today, we take the first step in a long journey that leads to the Underground Railroad to freedom from poverty. I need to ask, answer any of your questions. going on and unemployment is at an all-time high. Um, there's a lot of people out here that are looking for a job. Is this really the right time here to make these demands on employers when so many people are looking for a job and wish they had one at all? Yes, ma'am. We feel it is because we believe that all life is sacred and we believe that all humans have the right to be respected and have human dignity. You're talking about the way they talk to you, the way they Yes, ma'am, because we found out that coming together in unity, because United Workers, we, we organize across color, language, gender, all those barriers. And we feel that in number there is power. And if we all come together and stand up and make our demands made known around the demands of respect and rights and dignity, around health care and around education, that we will be heard and we will prevail because we're not going to we're not going to jump down.
because we're human beings and we demand these rights because we were created in God's image. So if I go talk to Cheesecake Factory and Phillips and they say they don't know what they're talking about, do you have any facts to back this up? What do they have? Well, I, before you got here, I gave you all a, a press packet, but I also have with me today is these are the surveys, 147 surveys that each United Workers staff staff that we walked many a days surveyed people on their way in and out. So not any more questions. Can you spell your name? Sure. I'm going to give you these notices that are from the workers who are demanding the human rights for with dignity, human right to health care, and human right to education. The police have said that they will not allow us to cry.